Hey guys, Victor Warrior here, and today in this video, guys, we are going to be going something, going over something very cool indeed. And today, guys, we are going to be going over my custom take on Lance's battle suit, as you can see right here. It has the triangulator shield and his lance, of course, because you know he's Lance, and that's that is his primary weapon. So yeah, guys, go ahead and jump right on into the video. All right, guys, so the mech itself, I just. This, this build is so cool, I don't know why. I've just been really pumped to show this off to you guys. Just put this on YouTube. But anyways, guys, um, it's Lance over here, as I mentioned in the uh, previous clip. It It is actually, I, it is from the Ultimate Lance set. I just took the uh, the gun piece, this the scythe piece, and the actual Lance piece, and I just replaced it with some of the trans neon orange pieces uh, instead of the clear pieces. And it just makes up a really cool lance for the mech, and it just looks just looks very neat indeed. And so, guys, over here we have our Nexo Nexo Triangulator. Sorry about that cut, guys. I accidentally bumped into something. I kind of accidentally knocked something over, but yeah, this is the Triangulator, guys. If you have not seen it before. This, these are the Nexo powers actually formed into a triangle, then form up a hexagon. Now, I obviously do not have one, as you can see here. And so, whoops, I do not have one. This is why I have made a custom. As you can see, when I have made a custom one right here. And so, guys, what I have done is go ahead and move the the uh, Lance's mech to the side, the battle suit. And so, this is just a normal shield piece from Nexo Knights. But then I added on these uh, cone pieces in silver to make up to make the uh, the little pieces higher, and so and then I took the um, what are these the uh, the uh, oh, sorry uh, the four by this four by four plate and then I took a trans yellow stud and then I attached it to the open stud over there on the shield. And so then, it looks like a bigger shield, because we have the two little points, and then we have this point sticking out below. And then, guys, over here, these are the Nexo powers, actually. Uh, feel free to scan these if you have not scanned them before, if you just don't have ult Ultimate Lance, or you just don't have these Nexo powers yet. If you play the game, uh, go ahead and scan that, and scan that one, and you can scan... I'm just showing them to you individually. There could be a more efficient way of this. That's okay. And so guys, let's, let me go ahead and show you how I did this. I took these clear pieces and then put them on on the sides, as you can see right here. And they all have their uh, trans stud pieces over there. Not clear. Clear only for this Nexo power. And the uh, I just took their colors, like trans blue has trans blue stud, trans red has trans red stud. And then these studs get wedged in between these four studs right here. And then it makes up, and it is put into the middle. And then that also happens, and it's wedged in between those four studs, as you can see right there, guys. And then makes up our triangulator Nexo power. That does look quite cool. And then, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and bring the mech back. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and remove his. Uh, what is it? Oh, sorry about that, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and remove his uh, weapons. Let me go ahead and show you his like default form. Alright guys, so here is the mech's default form, as in pretty much, this is its form when it is not in use. Alright guys, so, um, first of all, I want to show you how the cockpit works. This can just be folded open, as you can see right here. And it also has an extra engine part over here, so if you just want to look at the figure's torso, then you can do that as well. But, if we go ahead and flatten this out, and then bring this all the way down, then these can be brought out to the sides. We go ahead and insert our pilot for this mech, which is, of course, Lance. Go ahead and put his uh, visor down. And what you would do is that these two pieces would be control sticks. And guys, this is technically not a really custom build because I did take... This is a, actually a skeleton mech from the salvage mech custom Ronin... Or rest, Ronin custom... I'm, I'm mixing up words. Ronin salvage mech. That... Did the departed set, and then I took the skeleton mech, and I you and I just repurposed it to to be Lance's mech, and it did turn out very well. Well, technically it is a custom build, but yeah. Anyways, um, 
you go ahead and strap them in like that and then these used to be spines but then now they can the 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 T black pieces attach them together and those can be used as control sticks for lance and then those and then that can just be brought up now I know there's supposed to be a lance emblem printed piece on the front but I obviously do not have that piece because the sets aren't out at the recording of the time of this video guys oops he's not fully in yet there we go but I improvised and used two light blue studs and that just makes up a nice little um there's some lights and it looks fine or in my opinion sorry about that guys and then going to do a quick 360 look it does look very nice indeed and yeah and then guys on the arms i'm just going to show you one arm because it's the exact same thing on the other arm and some mixel style ball joints and these ball joints are used throughout the smaller ball joints at the shoulder and then we have this nice little shoulder ball joint piece with just a angle one by two brick right there then it has arm uh, elbow articulation and hand articulation with the extra force hand claw piece and so yeah guys that is it for the arms arm does the same thing on the right side as well and for the legs um there are actually no pieces on the legs originally but then i added on these white great pieces and they do add a nice addition in the color scheme of zane and then if we go ahead and yeah you can see that he has foot rotation our, our foot articulation but he doesn't but the mech does not and the leg also has a uh what is it the hip and leg ar articulation but no knee uh, movement over there and let's see if i can go ahead and get a running pose out of this mech there guys, that's a pretty good pose. Um, I just have him balancing on one leg over to this side because all his, lead need, all his uh, weight needs to lean forward to that side. And just, yeah. Um, oops. Yeah, but it is very delicate and fragile when you do place it on one foot. But anyways guys, that pretty much does it for the video. And so yeah guys, go ahead and wrap it up. Whoops guys, I forgot to show you Lance right here if you haven't seen the minifig. I've already shown them before, and if you want to see a more in detail, in depth of detail, go ahead and click on the link down below in the description. I will put a video to that. And then, guys, um, this is just his helmet. This is the Ultimate Lance, because I have Ultimate Lance. He has the generic printing and everything. I do not, I did not give him his shoulder armor, because it cannot fit his mech, his battle suit. But then, he does have the clear visor, and then he has his winking face, and the actual helmet is just a normal uh, white helmet that fits his color scheme, and then, as I said before, the clear, the clear special visor for Lance himself. And so this is his winking face, and then the other side, he has his alternate face, and that is just a normal expression of smiling. And so yeah, guys, that does pretty much it. Does it, guys, for the video? Now let's go ahead and wrap it up. Anyways, guys, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. I have just been really pumped up about making this video. This this build was very fun to build, actually. But anyways, guys, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you do want more fresh new content coming from my channel. And also, guys, if you did or did not enjoy today's video, then please tell me why in the comment section below. And, yeah, leave a reason. Tell me why. But anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Brick Filmer signing out. Peace out, guys.